We are going to unload a truckload of corn out of our Sioux Steel grain bin today using our John Deere B and a Freightliner semi and end dump. This is a normal thing farmers do in the winter months, getting grain out of their grain storage, hauling it to town. When it's not so busy, the grain has hopefully increased in price since harvest in the fall. Um, so today we're, we're loading corn, whole corn out of it. Another thing we use the same bin for is we roll corn through that roller mill out of it into our commodity shed. This is a multi-purpose grain bin, about 20,000 bushel, just a touch over. Um, definitely adds value to the corn that we grow on the farm, both through using it as processing it and using it as livestock feed and hauling it to town after a grain rally. A lot of farmers use a tractor that they don't care how many hours has on it or it doesn't need as much horsepower as some of their other tractors. So that's one of the reasons we got this John Deere B on here. Um, this John Deere B also pulls a hay wagon for us. And some things that are real nice about a non-cab tractor is you don't have to crawl up all the way through and get in and sit in the seat to run any of the levers. I can actually reach a lot of the levers just here standing right next to it. So it's a really simple tractor, does, does some work to take hours off of some of our other tractors. It's January now. We're gonna sell some more corn. The corn price has been up recently. And it's New Year, which is another reason we're selling some corn. With this, we use uh, different breakers to run the outlet. And then this electric auger. And then we use the uh, new roller mill in that too. over to the chute. I don't need these anymore. All right, came inside. My hands all washed up, gonna grab my dog. Come on, Crosby. Come on. All right, let's go finish that corn, bud. Well, we're gonna get back to it. Left that tra tractor running. It was only gone for less than maybe four minutes, five minutes. We gotta get it cranked back up again. So, Whenever you turn on an auger and the whole system, you kind of turn everything back on in the opposite way you turn it off. So you don't get any plugging. Pretty close to the edge, but we were. I guess I'll show you. Pretty good, eh? I could have been slightly more centered to that side, but I didn't spill any. I will. I'm going to tarp this truck, park it in the Morton building right there, and then we will haul it in after chores tomorrow morning. So 
So I hopped in the Freightliner Semi. It's really sunny today. Pull forward here. I got enough fuel for the morning, so I don't need to get any of that. Man, I can't see nothing going into this shed. There we go. It's not supposed to rain, but I'm still gonna put it in the shed. All right, next thing we're doing today is we're going to take the uh, duels off of this Kubota M7 tractor. And so uh, first we drove it up on rim. an old rim, <laughs> a block, a, yeah, a block, to, to uh, get the tire, get the dual off the ground. And next we're going to uh, use this breaker bar to break the bolts. Break the bolts. To <laughs> they were tightened with a bigger impact than what we have here at our mom and dad's. But oh, hey, there's once mom. we break them. Oh, hi, mom. Once, Once we, we break them, then we'll be able to zip them off with yeah. the impact. We're not at the main shop here. We're at our parents' house, so we don't have all the the main tools. Um, but we're going to do do what we can. Nathan and I got matching sweatshirts on. Wow. Farmers is matching. Winning. All right, we got them all loose. Now he's gonna buzz them off with the impact. If we'd have been at the main shop, we'd have started with the impact. But... So why are we taking the duels off, man? We're probably gonna put it on the feed wagon or just load with it. And we don't, we don't need the duels in the winter, really and um it just fits places better when it's narrow you can get bales in more narrow places maneuverable yeah so we pretty much had the duels on there for stability when we were running the grain cart. That pretty big grain cart with it and so now we are not and we already so did this with the uh, with our 7430 as well so yeah we, we like, like to take to, the duels off in the yeah, winter and have tractors just more narrow and even like while scraping wet manure or something or snow it doesn't get packed in between or anything mm -hmm. so all right the next thing we're going to do is uh, we take out this last bolt and then this outside dual the whole tire and everything becomes loose and nathan and i have to kind of maneuver it off the hub and uh over against the wall over against this can... this wall where we put the other one so I'm not going to be able to film and do it at the same time, but I've got the GoPro doing a time lapse, so you can watch us there. All right, so we got it off. A little dirty under there. All right. Now we're going to pick these up and carry them over to a better spot, but we had to come over here by the air compressor uh, to take them off. Nathan's going to run the chain through the bucket there. And then he's got the chain through both the tires so that we can pick them both up at the same time. If we uh, would have been at the main farm, we could have used the pallet forks or a different form of attachment to pick these up, but we just put a chain around them and that'll work. We're gonna go set them over here by the shed, get them out of the way. All right, so we got the uh, duels stored over there for the winter. It's probably not the greatest spot, but it gets them out of the way anyway. This feedlot is uh, pretty much sitting empty this winter. Uh, we didn't put up any feed down here. We'll probably feed here again next year. Uh, we had some cows and calves out on that field. You probably remember the last vlog. Actually, that one stupid cow is still out there somewhere. We have yet to, to catch her. She's being real dumb. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Gonna pull those brakes. If you want more videos of uh, what's going on on the farm, the feedlot, the cow cat ranch. Oh, I gotta flip this battery switch off. We got it all here at Peterson Farm. Uh, if you want more videos like that, like and subscribe. Uh, follow this channel. And uh, 
We'll be coming with more videos. There's Ben from a distance. I'll just get this tarped up and I'll be ready to go.